Hi everybody, it's Diego from Codex and welcome to the sixth lesson of this Arduino course. In the last video, we learned how to use a push button and a buzzer, and we also created a simple timer. In this one, we're gonna make that timer a bit more complex. So if you are ready, let's get started. The circuit we're gonna create today will have four push buttons, one buzzer, and one LED. The buzzer will obviously go off when the time is up. The LED will blink whenever we press on a push button and will also indicate the remaining time by glowing with more or less intensity. The four push buttons will have different functions. The first one will add one second to the timer. The second one will add one minute to the timer. The third one will be used to set the timer to zero. And the fourth one will be used to start the timer. As you see, this one is connected to digital pin 4, this one goes to digital pin 5, this one goes to number 6, 7, the buzzer goes to digital pin 8, and this one goes to digital pin 9. As you see, there are some numbers with this symbol next to it. That means it's a PWM, pulse width modulation. These pins can be used, among other things, to control the brightness of an LED. I will show you how to do it later. So now let's assemble the circuit. For this circuit, we're gonna need the Arduino board, breadboard, buzzer, LED, no matter what color you choose, four push buttons, five resistors, and plenty of jumping wires. So let's begin connecting the push button as we learned in the past lesson. As you see, this is the most complex circuit we have ever created in this channel. And now let's open a block and let's code it. First of all, let's add Arduino Uno. And now we're gonna make a variable, which is gonna be called timer. A variable is a space where we can store information. So here we have to store the time the user chooses for the timer. We're going to work on live mode to test the project from time to time, and we're only going to use this event when green flag clicked. This way, if we later want to upload the code to Arduino Uno, we only have to replace this block with this one. So to begin with, we're gonna set timer to zero, and we're gonna use a forever block. This is important so that the timer is available forever. Now I'm gonna connect Arduino Uno and I'm going to be pointing towards the circuit so that you can see the changes that happen there, okay? Every push button code is going to be inside an if block. So if read digital pin four, it is true last day we put an operator here which said something like this. If read digital pin 4 equals 1, this works as well, but this works the same way. So let's try to be practical. So this means if we press push button, uh, the first push button, the ones that goes to digital pin 4, 
first of all, we're going to set digital pin 9 output as high. So we're going to turn on the LED. Then we're going to change timer by 1. So if we have 0, it will turn 1. Okay, It will, it will add 1 to this timer. If we have here 40, it will become 41. Then we're going to wait for 0 0.2 seconds, for example, and then we're going to turn off the LED. Let's see if it works. Green flag. And forever, when we press the first push button, this should happen. And it does. As you see, now the timer is 1, and the LED has turned on for a, for a while. As you see, the timer keeps on adding numbers. So now I'm going to duplicate it and put it down here. And if read digital pin 5, we're going to change timer by 60, 60 seconds, because we want to use the second button to add a minute. Let's see. All right. So now we have 125 seconds. We're going to duplicate again. If read digital pin number six, we are not going to change timer. In this case, we're going to set timer to zero. No matter what number we have here, if we press the third push button, the one wired to digital pin 6, we will set timer to 0 again. Let's see. Okay. And now we need to, to configure the last push button, which is the most complex. So if read digital pin number seven. And now, as we have said, the brightness of the LED is going to indicate the remaining time. So this is my proposal and later on you can improve it. During the first half of the time we have here, the brightness is going to be the maximum. So what we have to do is this. Set pulse width modulation of digital pin 9 output as 255 and look this is maximum brightness for example if I put 50 the brightness is reduced all right so uh, well let's put it to zero all right so here, we're going to set this pin output as the maximum brightness, and we're going to wait for half of this time. How do I do it? Well, in control, we're, we have wait. And to create half of that time, we need this operator. I put timer here and divide it into two. So this means if we have here, for example, 60 seconds, we're going to set this pin to maximum brightness and we're going to wait for 30 seconds because this is 60 divided into 2. After that, we're going to set this brightness to half of it. And we're going to wait, well, we can duplicate. We're going to wait for other 30 seconds. After that, we're going to turn it off. We can use this directly. And then we're going to, to make the buzzer ring. 
okay the buzzer is going to to go off so as we did last time we're going to set digital pin 8 to high we're gonna wait for 0.2 seconds and then we're gonna repeat it with low and this is gonna happen four times and we put it here so to sum up when we have set this time okay let's say for example something simple eight seconds for example we're going to set the LED to the maximum we're gonna wait timer divided into two seconds timer now is eight so we're gonna wait four seconds then we're going to set it to a lower brightness we're going to wait other four seconds so the LED uh, from here on is going to indicate we are in the second half of the timer okay so we are running out of time then we wait and when this is finished okay uh, zero seconds left we're going to turn off the LED and the buzzer is going to go off so let's see this is the fourth button maximum brightness it decreases and now it sounds all right if you see the brightness is not uh, is quite similar you can put something like this and that will be much clearer let's see we still have the eight seconds let's put it to zero now let's put four sorry and now let's try it maximum brightness now it decreases clearly and now it goes off this is my proposal guys i hope you liked it obviously if you don't want to depend on the computer you just need to upload the program to to the arduino Uno board and as you can figure out it is very easy to improve this timer for example you can set the led to gradually decrease light as time passes instead of putting timer divided into two if you put timer divided into eight and you do that eight times the light intensity will decrease much more gradually than it does in this kind of of circuit of program okay so as i said try it at home do your best try to improve it okay do not stop when you do what i have done here and see you next time bye bye